Wow. New at 5 with the high temperatures, Meals on Wheels is doing welfare checks on its clients. Fox 23's Michelle White rode around with some of the volunteers today, and she joins us live from outside the Meals on Wheels headquarters with what she's found out. Shay and Rick, EMSA has reported as at 5 o'clock today that they have responded to six heat-related illness calls and taken four to the hospital. That's exactly what the staff and volunteers here at Meals on Wheels are trying to prevent from happening to their most vulnerable. Mark and Lori Birchall are volunteer delivery drivers for Meals on Wheels in Tulsa. Oh, you get to know little tidbits about them all the time. Part of their job is checking on the welfare of their clients when they deliver meals and checking on their needs. It's more probably due to the cost of the utilities than anything. The retired couple has been volunteering to deliver meals to clients for the last five months. On Thursday, Mark delivered meals to seven clients. Yes. Your AC doing okay? Yeah. All right, no, no. problems? No. How you doing? Good. Everything doing okay here? Yes, sir. No problems? No problems. AC's up and running and everything? <laughs> yeah. As much as they can do. Keep it. Thank you. How are you doing? Okay, what's the wife? Oh, she's in the car. She, oh. her, her knees are kind of um, bothering her okay. a bit, so she. Can I say hello? Will do. Meals on Wheels serves 2,100 clients in the metropolitan Tulsa area with around 300 drivers. Nick Nazarian is the director of development for the local organization. As they deliver meals, they'll check in on the client to see if they have any specific needs. Is it warm? Do you need a fan? Or are there ways that we can help? The second piece is on the app itself that the volunteer drivers use. There's a place before they can move on to the next delivery to indicate a change of condition. That would include emergency situations like no air conditioning or no power. If we put something on of a note about needing something, then they will then the Meals on Wheels people will come out and evaluate that. And work with the client to find the resources they need. On Thursday, every one of Mark's clients had working air conditioning, but some of them closed off rooms to keep only one room cool. One such emergency is we they had a customer yesterday who didn't have any water, and the care team cons uh, care team counselors went out and brought water to that woman for an emergency situation and brought her a cup of coffee out of her own pocket. It shows the bond between the client, the staff, and the volunteers here during these hot summer months. Live in Tulsa, covering news that matters. Michelle White, Fox 23 News.